Welcome everyone. Today we have a weekly update video for Lost Ark. And as you can see behind me, we actually don't have the weekly update notes at the moment. So I'm recording this one a few hours before the maintenance. And usually around this time we get the weekly update notes. But this time we actually didn't get weekly update notes. So this video will focus on two things. One is that the possibility of the market price drop, which is happening right now, as you guys can see, I'll explain to you guys why this is happening and how could you profit from this. So the second part of the video, will look at ways to earn extra gold from Valton patch. So including bombs, potions, relic stones, gears, and also tripods. And also flipping the tier three market when the market is panicking, it's actually making me quite a bit of gold. So I'll be making about 10,000 gold by doing this yesterday. So I want to make a summary video for you guys to give you guys a quick tip of how to do this when the market is falling very quickly. Now, while searching for the developers notes for this week's update notes, I also came across some official response of the roadmap that is coming for June and also July. And over here, we also have some questions about Valton patch is no fun. So what's happening is why am I not making as many videos this week is I've been struggling to pass Valton hard for the past three days and we'll be trying for hours each day. I'm still stuck on it. So I'm planning to make this video, video a little earlier, then go back with my guild to try Valton hard gate two. We're so close guys. So this is one of the biggest reasons I wasn't able to make many videos. So for the past three days, I've been trying at this and we've been failing and learning as well. But on the good news, the video that is coming next week will be about how to get your weapon to plus 20. I have three methods I want to share with you guys. And one of the methods actually worked for me. So I want to share this with you guys. And I didn't spend much gold. My gold is still invested into materials to flip the market. So my gears have gotten me to 1465 now. And I do want to share the homing guy with you guys next week once I pass Valden. <laughs> So coming over to our first part of the video, be aware guys, those are my personal predictions on my server for the market. And I'm sure you guys can see a trend. So the first part, I'll try to explain why this is happening. And then we can look into how can we profit out of this. So the first question is, why is the market price falling massively with the first week of Valton patch? Now, if we have a look at some of the homing materials like the Solar Grace, you know, since the Valton patch, Solar Grace has fallen from 35 gold to 22 gold, the average price. And you can see the Solar Grace falling massively, Solar Protection, and the pouches haven't been falling much, they have fallen slightly. So the first reason for the pouches to fall is that there's a lot of more freebies, including the weeklies from the KS line and also the free login reward. So the pouches didn't fall that badly. But what fell the most is going to be the tier three upgrade materials. So initially I was like, hey, why is this happening? And why aren't the players, you know, crafting and, you know, building their relic gears? Well, one thing you have to notice is most players, even well players, they can't craft their relic gears. So after claiming gate one on hard difficulty, I only got six of the bombs. So in order to craft one, Relic gear, you need 10 of the bombs, which is armor gear. For the weapon, you need 25 of the bombs. As for now, I have only seen one whale player who have gotten over 1,490. I think he got to 1,497 by crafting one piece of the armor only. So by the looks of it, the first week of Valton, players are not able to craft too many relic gears and because of that they're actually not homing as much as we were hoping for and that's why they're not buying the homing materials because you know if they, 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 they can't have the gears they can't home they can't spend right so this is one of the reasons the items over here are not going up but on the other side if you have a look at my sale history so a lot of items over here have been selling the relic items so there's three categories relic gears and also the stones and also the tripods we'll have a look at this very soon so the gold is shifted towards the relic items that are tradable at the moment not the homing materials now, the second reason why we are seeing a market crash is, the, is that there has been a huge surplus, a surplus of Great Honor Lip Storms. So if we come over here and have a look at the Great Honor Lip Storms, they used to be selling about 160 gold before the Velton patch. But after the Velton patch, the weekly raid event, which gives a lot of Lip Storms, about you know, 80 or 70 tradable Lip Storms, and also the KS line that gave us 200 Lip Storms on the first go. So players are having too much lip stones and they're all trying to sell it, which crashes the market below 120 gold. It was about 110, 115 gold on my server. Now it's close to 100, you know, it's going down. So 
the Great Honor Lip Stones is one of the benchmarks. If the Great Honor Lip Stones is really cheap, then players might not buy the retail materials, which will cause them to fall even lower. On the other hand, we can also see the stones uh, destruction and also Guardian Stones falling slightly, but then not falling too fast, because players are still using those to push for 1,445. So they're not going over 1,490 at the moment, and this is why there isn't too much demand, there's too much supply. Now finally, the price of the Myra Secret Shop Gold to Crystal have been staying pretty high at the moment, so I do think this is also an indication that there may be a chance of price rising very soon, but I just want to warn you guys, right now is the market crash period, and during this period, people will panic sell. If you join the panic selling, you're likely to lose out in some of the gold as you're trading on them, but there's a strategy to that. So the last thing I want to look into the Mario Secret Shop is that if you have a look at the Mario Secret Shop, it has been going up and down. Oh, I can buy this one. So the Lipstones is the only thing I buy now for the Mario Secret Shop. I no longer buy anything else because they're no longer as profitable. So the Solar Gray, Solar Blessing, all of those are not great because the market is so much cheaper. So if you have a look at the exchange over here, it's about 700 gold for 95 crystals. And it's been staying high for a while simply because players want to buy items from the secret shop. You know, whether it's customs, report items, or just, you know, battle items, which you need a lot for Valtim. So what I'm expecting is, I'm expecting the Mario Secret Shop go to the crystal price should fall after a week or two of the Valtim match. And this in return will push the price of the market even further. So we're expecting a market crash in about one to two weeks. But the moment it's happening much faster, simply because the whale players can't go beyond 1,490. So if you come over here and go to the relic gear crafter, they can't actually craft the relic gears. I can't craft any at the moment as well. So notice I don't have any relic gears. So because they can't craft any relic gears, so for the first week, they can't home. I'm thinking about a few weeks, maybe the market will stabilize because people will have almost a full set of relic gears. So gate one gives you six bombs. I haven't passed gate two yet, and I'll be planning to do this after the recording of this video. Now coming over to a second part of the video, we talk about the market crash of Velton. So now how do you make gold from this phenomenon of the Velton patch? Well, the first two are pretty pretty nice. Well, I want to share a few with you guys. So the first one is going to be bombs and potions. Because Velton requires us to use destruction bombs and uses a lot of potions. So if I come over here and go to bombs, I'm not sure if you guys have crafted any of those. I personally have not looked into the bombs, so I can't tell if they are profitable. So you can see the destruction bomb is one of the most used bomb for the Velton patch, and a lot of people are crafting a lot of them. So it is likely they are profitable, but right now lots of people are crafting them. So make sure you check the price of your stronghold and the time it consumes, whether it's worth it for you. Well, if you don't make any gold, if you don't lose any gold, you still gain stronghold experience. So keep in mind of that. After this, it's going to be potions. Now, potions, I did have a look earlier. So you can see the general price of potions going up. Even the green potion that goes by 30% is going up from about 4.7 gold to 6 gold. And over here, the major HP potions is pretty stable at 14 gold. And basically, those potions now have a market as players attempt Valton. Now again, we do have a previous video that calculates the price of potions depending on the flowers. So those are the wildflowers. Now, if you guys are not sure, make sure you enter the price of the wildflowers in your server into the Excel calculator and check the price of potions. If it is profitable in your server, then you can look into crafting the potions and make sure to check the fees of each potion. So I have those linked for you guys on Excel. Now on the topic of making my gold at which I did miss out. So I wasn't, you know, doing my destroy class because I was a little busy on the weekend. But what while my friend did notice is, so let me show you guys something interesting. So we're planning to do this and make a ton of gold next, next time. <laughs> so let me show you guys something interesting. So this is basically, oh, this is actually pretty crazy. So let's go with screen tier. So let me show you guys something interesting. So notice that on the release of the Velton patch when Destroyer was a class to play, and most players are tier two, they try to get to tier three. Some of the gears over here, notice some of the gears over here that players were selling on the, I guess, on the release of the, 
on the release of the Velton patch with Destroyer, some of those gears were getting sold a lot of gold. Each of the blue gears from tier 2 that are tradable, players was buying those because they need to get to tier 3. And if you look at the dates on this, on the first two days of Velton patch, if you were selling Destroyer gears, you know, if you looted from the KSK instead of disenchanting them, if you were selling them, you make anywhere from like 40 or 30 gold per gear, which is incredible amount of gold. Because you can farm this one, you know, the, the tier 2 dungeons for about, you know, 10 pieces of those gears in a run. So imagine getting 500 gold per run with your destroyer. And what's even stronger is there's also, you know, those gears, some of those were selling for four or 500 on the first day. So what we plan to do next week, now next patches with the new class, we're going to farm those tier 2 gears and we're going to sell it to the market and make about 20 to 50 gold per gear on the first two days, which will give us, you know, a few thousand gold at least by doing this. Now coming over to the new relic set of items, the stones, the gears and also tripod. I'm sure most of you by now will know the price of the, the items. So basically whether this is a good item or not, and whether you know the stats is a plus five or plus three, whether it has critical rate or not. So those who will know. What I tend to do is I tend to list my items now just for the bidding price, because sometimes I'm just too lazy to check the price. So I just list my item for 100 bidding price. If anyone wants those not so good items, they can bid for it. And if it's good item, they can bid higher. So this is how I sold this ring. I stopped checking them because there's too many of them. But this also works because it just saves me a bit of time. And also as for the stones, I do similar method for the stones. But I also make sure I check the stones if, if they have a particular set of, you know, good stats. You can see I made most of my gold from the relic stones, close to about 15,000 gold by doing this. So make sure you always check the two stats of the relic stones, because right now they sell for anywhere from 1,000 gold to about 7,000 gold. So this is quite important to look into the relic stones. This is the highest amount of gold we'll get for the season, because this is the early low supply season, and most of the gold from the whale players are going to the stones. So I don't really check the gears if they don't have perfect stats, but I always check the stones for additional gold. And finally, if you guys are looking to tripod, any tripod with a plus four might have a market. Notice two of my tripods are selling for you know 4,000 gold, 2,500 gold, and also random tripod I get, I'll just check them for 100 gold. So any tripod with a plus level four might have a market. So make sure you guys have a look at this. And if it's a popular tripod item, it can easily fetch a few thousand gold. So make sure you double check on the tripods, because again, similar to the stones, those will go down in price. So I always check the tripod and also the stones if they are profitable. Now coming over to a final part of the video, and I do think this is quite nice as well, because we know the market has been panicking. So let me just show you guys with the example over here. So you can see, now maybe I make this bigger. Let's see, can I make this bigger? So I can. So if you look at my mail history, so let's have a look here. So I bought 160 solar blessings, 30 solar blessing, 32. So I bought about 1,000 solar blessing. One can notice the market is pellet selling. And notice I'm buying those at about 69 and also 70 gold solar blessing. And then what I'm doing is I'm selling those at 79 gold. And this is already below the market price. So I sold about 1,000 solar blessing at 79 gold after buying them at 69 or 70 gold. So I made about five or six gold per solar blessing. So easily I made about 5,000 gold this way. I did similar things with the solar protection as well. So how do you make a profit when the market crashes? Well, the first thing is you have a look at the average day price. If the market, the item, the item that's selling over here is way below the market price. So let's say yesterday the market price was 85 gold and people were panic selling solar blessing for 70 gold. I knew that the market probably won't recover to 85 gold, but I also knew that it's probably not 70 gold, right? So I waited and I monitored the market for two hours. So I saw people buying for 70 gold, then the market went back to 80 gold after the server reset, and then it went back down to 70 gold. So I know there's a fluctuation between 70 and 80. And then I bought in around 70 gold again for a thousand solar blessing. And I sold those at 79 gold because I know the market will fluctuate back. So first you check the average price. If it's way below the average price, yesterday was 85 and I bought at 70. And then you check if the market is fluctuating back to the average price or anywhere close by. 
And if that is confirmed, so make sure you do check two checks, then you can buy the item on the market super low, and then you can sell them for a below average price. So yesterday I bought at 70, I sold at 79. So make sure you guys are aware of this. Yesterday, the solar protection was selling for 150 gold and then went back to 180 gold. So again, there's a massive profit when the market is crushing. So yesterday, solar protection was crushing massively. But no one was buying them. And this was going so much down in price. And this is when you can pick up items for cheaper and sell it below the average price. So make sure you know this. So your goal is to aim to sell it below average price. If I can buy the solar protection for 150 gold today, I'll sell it as 170 gold. Notice the average price is 175 gold. So this way I know I won't make a loss and I'll make a small profit. And by doing this about, you know, yesterday, because I was reading, I didn't get time to do this, right? So by doing this yesterday, I made about 5,000 to 7,000 gold. And with the solar protection, I probably made about 10,000 gold by doing this. So this is when the market crashes, you can still make some gold as you play the game. I mean, I only did this during my Valton break though. So I had some breaks during the Valton raid and oh gosh, the Valton raid. After this video, I'm going back to the raid. Hopefully I can finish it this week and I'll make a guide for you guys next week on the hard mode of Valton. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys and let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it.